Good morning, it's Saturday, it's about half nine. It's Brighton Tattoo Convention Day. I'm very hungover. Let's get ready to go. I don't feel too bad. My eyes are a little puffy. I'm just trying to get some hydration back into my face. It's nothing a bit of makeup won't fix. I'm back, it's quarter past 10. I'm feeling a little bit more revitalized. I had a coffee, I've done my hair, had a shower, done my makeup base. I'm just gonna rush through my eyes with you on camera because I'm meeting Harley for brunch in 45 minutes. This lighting is, oh, so intense. I'm going to Brighton Tattoo Convention today with my best friend Harley. She's a tattoo artist from Manchester. I haven't been since I was 19. Harley did tattoo her own name on me which is brilliant i want to try do like a smoky wing today but it's been a couple of months since i've tried to do anything like that and i'm under time pressure it's not going to focus but i got my first ever vive product which is the eye wand in the shade coffee just added that on and i'm gonna try smudge it out and hope for the best it's the first time using it which i probably shouldn't do when i'm in a little bit of a rush but oh well okay i've smudged it out i've added a little bit of brown and going in with some black eyeliner. Last time I went to the convention, I got my praying mantis tattooed on my leg, which took eight hours. It was really unpleasant, never again. Didn't eat all day because I didn't know what was good for me. I do actually have a tattoo tour filmed on my TikTok. Um, I will try to link that in the description box if you wanna see the full extent. It's not a huge amount. So I went out last night by mistake. I went for a few drinks after work with one of my good friends, Eva. And then my colleague from work joined me. And you know when you're just sat outside having a good time? I kept saying I'll go home after this drink. The next thing I know, it's midnight. I actually feel okay, I feel quite good today. I felt a bit dry mouth this morning, but you know, we're recovered. We're gonna go for a lovely brunch. I just feel like mascara always looks so bad on me. It's been a very, very long time since I've done lashes and these are proving really difficult. So I'm gonna do them off camera and come back. I haven't done a full glam in ages and I feel like the lashes are too much, but I think it's just because I'm not used to wearing lashes. I think it looks good. I think I just need to chill out. Oh my God. I was supposed to leave the house at 11 to meet Harley. It's five to 11 and she's on her way to mine because I'm not ready because I'm filming, but it's really chill. I'm not normally a late person. This way we avoid the cues. I've done the majority of my makeup. I think I look a bit like black swan but i'm hoping it's a good thing so i'm just gonna get changed i'll show you what i'm wearing harley's just got her she's down there if you if you don't want to be anything you don't have to be in anything uh, i can edit I don't it out being in the background i don't really care yeah yeah, yeah. um harley just got here i'm finally dressed it is 11 30 even though it's supposed to be at 11. i can never get my outfit in on this but i'm wearing my <laughs> denim skirt docks I'm going to be absolutely freezing, but it's okay. <laughs> we are just going to go get some cash out. We just had a really yummy breakfast and it's tattoo convention time. It's very, very cold. Hopefully it's warmer in there. Ignore the fact that I quite literally have a spot on my chest, but my lovely new little tattoo was done yesterday by Laura Gascoigne. I'll link her in the description box. It was so easy. It literally took like 10 minutes. I was unable to get any footage of her actually tattooing me because Harley went to go get us a drink at the bar and the bar queue was so long that the tattoo was done before Harley got back. I didn't think this footage was going to roll into Sunday, but... I think I'm gonna go back because there was something I really, really, really wanted. And the artist wasn't doing walk-ups yesterday, so walk-ups are today. It's 11.15, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then run down to the Brighton Centre, 
grab a ticket on the door, head straight up to the booth, and hopefully I can be like a second or third walk up. That's what I'm hoping. I'm going by myself, which is a little scary. You can see I've just like literally whacked some concealer and eyebrows on. I'm not wearing anything cute, I'm going comfy. I'm just hoping to get in there and then out. The tattoo I really want is on the inside of my ear. Like it's quite like a big, and I've got quite big ears, so I feel like it can be quite big. I'm kind of scared, but it should be fine. I just don't, I don't like the idea of the noise, but I guess we'll see when we get there. I don't have anyone to film the process or like film me. So I'm hoping he doesn't mind if I film and that the process isn't like too disruptive for him. So I'm gonna just try to be polite with that. It's just so hard to get a video of your outfit on this camera. Are we surprised that it is jeans, hoodie, and Birkenstocks. I will keep you updated. I will see you soon. <laughs> I'm all wrapped up. I'm just walking home along the seafront. I'm covered in tattoo ink and all my makeup's come off so I'll show you properly when I get home. I haven't got my sunglasses so I can't see. I just got home I'm just cooking a little food and having a drink because I'm so hungry. It wasn't as in and out as I'd hoped it would be. The time is currently half four and I got there just before 12. There was three or four people in front of me when I got there, even though it had only been open half an hour, but that's fine. Spent so long trying to choose a design because they were all so nice and it was only like one per person, so they weren't repeatable designs. So I just watched them get crossed off the list as I was choosing them. There is tattoo ink all over my face and half my makeup has been removed, but this was done by the lovely Simon Watkins tattoo. I'm so pleased with it. Pain was like, four out of 10, it wasn't that bad. It was just a little bit spicy on some of the longer lines. And the way like he was bending and like wiping my ear was uncomfortable, but that was it really. It took about half an hour. I'm gonna try add a clip in in a few more days when it's a bit more healed. So hopefully you'll see it looking less angry and swollen. This is the next day. I was able to remove the second skin. I'm not gonna lie, peeling second skin off your sideburn is really just not fun, but it looks way better already. And look, the shading goes all the way onto the back of my ear, which I didn't really realize because I can't see it. Super happy with it. Super excited to see how it heals up. All in all, a successful tattoo convention for me. I got two when I didn't have any last year, so I'm really pleased. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. I'll try to always take you along when I have tattoo appointments because I do have a few planned for this year. But yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you on the next one.